Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about why Dave Ramsey's $1,000 emergency fund is not enough for me. So, stay tuned. Alright Butterflies, let's jump right in. I have come to the realization that I have to do what's comfortable and what makes me feel secure. And I'm going to encourage you to do the same. Now, we probably all came together for one reason or another because Dave Ramsey or some other financial gurus. I had to come to the realization that I needed to do what made me feel comfortable. Um, a thousand dollars does not make me feel secure. I need a cushion. I need a larger cushion. And in all honesty, I have not always been the best saver. I have, um, saved when I got my taxes and by mid-year somehow or another, I dabbled in there just a little bit and all of a sudden, you know, I'm down to a hundred dollars. And to be honest with you, not all the time that it is a, an emergency. Um, because it's like first time you get in there, that might be an emergency, but it's like, oh, well, you know, you might as well get this, order that, buy this. Oh, that's important. And then you turn around and you're broke. So, um, I do believe in the philosophy of Dave Ramsey. I do. But there are things that I have to do to make me feel good. And I'm going to encourage you to do the same thing. Some of these things that I talk about today may not necessarily be something that you want to do. And if you want to follow him baby step by baby step, then I totally encourage you to do so. I do not want this to be anything else other than me giving you information about what I am doing. Okay, so let's move in. Currently, what I feel comfortable with is $2,500 versus $1,000. And I am going to continuously build on that. I took $2,250 out of my taxes and I put it with the $250 that was in my savings account which gave me $2,500, okay? Every paycheck, I have $100 going into that particular savings account at the credit union. And then I will somehow add another $150. My personal goal for 2020 is to have $5,000 that I have not touched by December 31st, 2020. That is my personal goal for myself. Um, yes, do I understand that the interest that I am getting from the savings account, even though it's a credit union, is not helping as much as it would if it went to my car note? Yes, I do understand that. Do I care? No. And the reason being is, is that I have to live comfortably. I have three kids. I have the grandbaby. I've got four dogs. I have a household to run. And I want to be able to have something that will say, okay, you're good. Now, that's not my three to six months. I'm not jumping over to baby step three. I am just continuously adding into the 2500 that I currently have in my savings. Now, let me tell you some other things that I have strategically placed as far as savings is concerned to help me where I am not touching that $5,000, okay? Um, I have $50 going toward my Christmas savings, um, which should give me about $600. Is that right? Yeah, about $600 at the end of the year. Um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to increase that. I'll see. 
Um, I just want to see how this new budget works. So I may increase that one because I've got the grandbaby now. Um, then two, um, I have $25 going into my regular bank checking account, excuse me, going into the savings account from where I keep my checking account. So I have $25 going to that. That's just in case, you know, I get, um, I need to switch over money quickly. I'll have a little buffer there in my actual bank institution. Okay. Then I have a hundred dollars going to my sinking funds. So I have two sinking funds. I have one that's called shit happens. <laughs> that's what I named it. They let me name it that. That's what I named it. And then the other one is called rainy day. So these are at capital one, three sixty. You can have a checking account with a debit card and you can have as many savings accounts as you want. Now, I had, you know, listening to other YouTubers, I had a trillion of them. I think I closed six or eight of them because it was just too ridiculous. So I just decided to have two, rainy day and shit happens. And that just, it just works. So I put $50 in each. Once it goes over to my checking account, I switch it over if I need it whether it's um should have i mean literally it could be toilet paper it could be any of those things that you know i don't necessarily have to get it toilet paper and shit happens that was pretty cool sorry <laughs> i just realized that but you know i don't buy toilet paper every month because i buy it at sam's um by the case i don't buy toilet uh paper towels you know i buy those by the case so dishwasher tabs, all of those things. But when I need them, I can go over there, switch the money over to the checking account and go ahead and pay for it. And then it's not affecting my actual budget. So the other main thing that I'm going to try to do is to pay an additional $500 per month toward my um, car note. That is something that I want to do each month. Um, so... I am, I've got tax money in there and, you know, trying to get everybody that needed to be paid, paid. So I'm not exactly sure, I probably won't be until April's budget where I actually see um, what I have left over. So I'm just playing it by ear right now. I'm making sure that I have every dollar literally counted for um in every dollar app and um but that's the goal is to pay an extra five hundred dollars i want my car note paid off um i don't know what the time frame is um i got a shitty ass deal there's no other way to put it um and it's only my fault i should have kept my pathfinder um i love my key i think i told you guys that but i love it but i should have kept my pathfinder um, because I would not have had the car note. So, I, you know, you live and you learn. It was after the first time I took Dave, you know, 12 years ago through Habitat, but then it was, um, you know, before I started, you know, getting back into Dave this time. So, you know, you live, you learn. I'm not upset. I'm just going to have to hit the grind, hustle, and make sure that I go ahead and um, get it taken care of. If I can get at least $500 paid in addition to my regular car note, then, you know, I'll be satisfied. Uh, if I can pay more, then I will. I just want to be able to see the fruits of my hard work as far as me trying to get this taken care of and get these things paid off. I did it with the credit cards. They're done. Um, and I will tell you guys this. I did not close my Home Depot. I've talked about that before. Um, and I closed one capital to one and I reduced another one down to $500. I had already negotiated a lower interest rate. Once again, my choice. Um, I'm not saying that it's for everyone. I definitely understand that, you know, Dave says to get rid of them, but but 
right now I'm doing what makes me have the most security. And so this is what makes me feel. Now, I'm not saying later on that I won't because the other credit cards I cut up, you know, the store um, credit cards and things of that nature. But um, just for emergency purposes, you know, even just, like I said, I know they said you can rent a car and all that other stuff. But the bottom line is, you know, as well as I do, they hold out additional. Even when you go and rent a hotel, they hold out additional. So if I don't have anything on that particular card, then guess what? I don't have to worry about it. The other portion of that is I am a person that cares about my credit, uh, my credit score. Um, and so because of the fact that I know now that you should not spend more than 30% of what you have as your um, total credit line, I have decided that at any given point, $150 is the most that I will put on a card. Um, and so... I'm trying to learn to be healthy financially. Um, like I said, this the majority of this right today goes totally against what Dave Ramsey says. But this is what Pam says, and this is what works for Pam. And, you know, like I said, these things are tools. This stuff is not set in stone. It's not that it hasn't worked for them and for millions of people, and I get it. But, you know, when I'm a single mom, I need some sense of security just for my own state of mind. I don't want to get rid of everything and cause more anxiety on my part because I don't have that security. So I'm doing what's best for me, right? So I would love for you all to support my channel and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the bell. And um, it will let you know when I have another upload. I would love to have you a part of the Butterfly family. And tell me um, if you agree or disagree with me with having just $1,000 for your emergency fund. Um, I'm open to discussion. I don't have a problem with that. As long as everybody's respectful to everybody else's comments, I'm good. But tell me. Is $1,000 enough for you for emergency fund? Now, keep in mind, I think if it's if you earn less than $20,000, then you only are supposed to have $500. So keep those things in mind. But just let me know. Is that something that um, you feel comfortable with? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much, butterflies. And until next time.